Hi. In today's post on Emerging Ed Tech, we're offering eight great tips about education and instructional technology innovations. If you click through to the URL that's in the description for the video, you'll find this great article, which is a collection of ideas to help administrators, educators, teachers, even students think about innovation. And there's a lot of things that it's important to realize when it comes to innovating. And many of these ideas obviously apply, really all of them, apply to, uh, to any organization or any innovative endeavor. Um, you know, first, innovation often comes just one step at a time from small changes. So, uh, you know, a little change when it's played over the long haul or it's repeated in multiple instances of a process can make a pretty big difference and sometimes a couple little changes together can uh, really make quite an impact. Another thing is to look at unexpected sources. Innovation ideas can come from anywhere. Uh, you know, especially the young folks. So talk to students, talk to your kids, uh, observe the world around you, do some creative searching around the internet. Just keep your eyes open, keep your mind open, and you'll probably get more ideas than you ever would have imagined. You need to be willing to accept failure, and that's really important. In fact, if you're not failing, you're not really trying very hard. Uh, it's an inevitable part of innovation, and it needs to be understood and welcomed and not chastised and looked down upon. So be ready and willing to accept failure if you're going to get serious about innovation. Another really important thing is innovations won't really be adopted unless they solve a problem. It's pretty rare uh, for it to happen otherwise. So, uh, you know, an example I give here is lecture capture. I was excited about lecture capture when I learned about it. I demoed it for some teachers in my institution years ago. But until there was a real need, a real problem to solve, it wasn't getting adopted. Uh, you know, people understood the potential benefit, but everybody's really busy. There's a lot of things going on. So it's often not until there's a real problem to solve, some real need to be met, uh, before an innovation will be adopted. Another way to, uh, to deal with innovation, particularly when you're struggling to reach a goal, is just to look at the problems a different way. Maybe change the problem you're solving. Often, uh, so, uh, problems that we're out to solve in businesses and organizations and educational institutions will be um, maybe a symptom of a deeper underlying problem. So be sure to consider that and try and drill down and think about the root problem. Um, another angle to this is that uh, sometimes there's some pretty wild innovations that come about um, because of, uh, you know, almost accidentally, as one is working on one problem, one suddenly gets an, a perspective on another problem or a different way to tackle it. And I provided a link here out to an IEEE article that talks about some historic examples of this. We also need to consider risks openly. Um, if it's, you know, innovation brings with it inherent risk, the possibility of failure, the possibility of things working out differently than expected, costs being higher than expected. Uh, there's a lot of potential risks with innovation, and it, you need to kind of, you know, make that part of your culture of innovation, the idea of understanding that there may be risks and being ready and willing to accept them. Uh, oh, I see here that I lost along the way. I, I misnumbered my uh, my posts. I have to go out and correct that. So I have two number fives, then I go on to seven and eight. So my apologies for that. I have to correct that, and I'll go out and um, fix that up right away after I finish recording this uh, video blog entry. So next we have um, the importance of creating, or the idea of creating an innovation lab or some other places or spaces or times to to encourage innovation. Uh, if you have a physical space and some equipment that in, encourages innovation and, and is dedicated to innovation, that's a great thing. And you know, I have a link here to an article about some big companies that have done that. But even the smallest companies, small institutions, uh, and individuals and individual teachers and individual students can get involved in innovation. And maybe they, well, you know, if you're somebody who's really interested in this, set some time aside yourself in or out of your work environment to dedicate to innovation. Um, so a lot of different ways to try and dedicate space and time to innovation. And of course, if you're an administrator, you may want to think about a budget for this so that you can plan for it in an upcoming academic or budget year. And last, you want to create a culture of innovation. So a lot of the ideas we've talked about um, in this post help to do that, but there's a lot more that has to happen and it helps tremendously when administrators from the top down message the, the idea, the acceptance, the expectation for innovation, and then bring it up over and over again. As teachers, you know that 
an idea has to come up repeatedly before it starts to sink into the mindset. So it's really important to do that. And then another really vital element is to reward innovation. Um, and that includes failure. When a failure, you know, many failures deliver, deliver useful information and bring you closer to the ultimate solution. Uh, and then, of course, at, you know, adopted successful innovations in education and instructional technology are... Um, are really what you're after, and when those happen, you really want to make a uh, a big deal about it and celebrate it. So there's eight tips to encourage innovating within the educational environment, within the education technology environment. I hope you find them helpful, and if you do have some ideas of your own about um, other you know types of tips or um, situations in which things that you've done or people you know who have done things that kind of incorporate these tips and help to deliver innovative success. Uh, I hope you'll share them. Click through and comment and share them. Thanks so much.